He did not introduce yourself of Well, I am Akunataka Siwa Akugini. of Woody Kingdom. <laughs> um, uh, Uche's, Uche's hobby, um, <laughs> Uche's zaddy. I'm just here. Hello everybody. Hello. 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 Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Say hello, baby. Hello, guys. <laughs> so, guys, we are traveling. Oh, tomorrow is my birthday. So, we are going for a weekend getaway. Bye. Getaway. <laughs> Summer holidays. Yes. All joined. All joined together. Mm -hmm. So, throughout this year, we have been in the same city, going to work, going to school. So we decided that today that we are going out. Today, actually, specifically, it's a beautiful weather today. Like uh, it's sunny and uh, bright. So beautiful. I think it's the best, the best. Because specifically, one by the winter, the cold was terrible. We are glad for the sun and. Uh, we're so happy. I'm taking um, a trip out of our city to yes. celebrate my beautiful wife's birthday. Yes. Tomorrow is the birthday of July. <laughs> so it's all about birthday getaway, birthday summer holidays, yes. vibes, and all of that. So yes. join us as we join us, guys. Go for the trip. So let me tell you where we are going. To. So, if you are living in Finland or you are familiar with Finland, this particular place we are traveling to is the oldest city in Finland. So, if you know the oldest city in Finland, that's where we are going to. <laughs> Just comment below if you know. I'm not going to tell you guys the name. Maybe when we get there, I'm going to show you guys. But when I went to our language school, they told us about the oldest city in Finland. So, since then, I have always wanted to see the oldest city. And today we are going there. Yeah, this city was created on I think 1229. Abi, very old. Oh, 12. The way we have 1990. Yeah. Oh, this one is 1220 something. Like the history behind this city is just amazing. Yeah. When you figure out this city, you can just go read it up and see the interesting history it holds, even for Finland in Europe as a whole. It's been cherished like also one of the oldest city and it holds certain cultural heritage and yeah. um, interesting mysteries and all yes. that. So it's very wonderful. Yes, it's, you know? it's part of um, Finnish independence. Yeah. I yeah, think yeah. it started from there. Yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't mention Finnish independence yes. without mentioning that city. Yes. Like, they would so much historic events. We searched for an accommodation 
Uh, we didn't search on time, but I think we started searching this week for an accommodation where yes. we're going. And we couldn't find any for this weekend. Like from today specifically, from yesterday, they were like, so blessed, but from today, ha. the particular place we wanted, we didn't see any. It was so difficult. So everywhere we were booked up. So I was asking, what's going like, on? Like specifically off. today. So now I can understand it because of the weather. Everyone is yes. going out because of the weather. Probably they, mo- they might have they seen. Might, yeah, they must uh, have seen the weather calendar. The weather uh, schedule that it's going to be warm today. So I think they have seen that today is going to be a very beautiful day. And then yeah. Everyone has booked everywhere for themselves. They're going to use enjoyment and free time playing. about why you should not move to Finland. No, forget about the caption. It doesn't, it's not as if I'm trying to discourage you people from moving to Finland. Finland is beautiful, I'm enjoying it here, but people requested for that video. Yes, people actually requested for it and I provided it. And then some people were like, um, you're discouraging us and like they were opposing the video as though I was kind of lying. <laughs> yeah, you, you saw the comments, yeah, right? Yeah, but I think it's normal, you know. People feel certain ways. Not everyone will feel like you've provided a certain uh, yeah. important information. Yeah. Some people that maybe they have not been following up your videos might think yeah. you've just been discouraging and um, negative about the whole situation. Yeah. But what you provided was the facts and um, the reality about the whole situation in Finland like. right now because uh, it's not funny. The new government is not taking it lightly, especially with the immigration rules, uh, bringing up new laws on how to tighten up the uh, citizenship uh, applications, permanent yeah. residence, and even jobs in Finland right now. So yeah. these are the realities. You are not discouraging. In fact, you stated it categorically in your video. That yeah. This is not any form of discouragement. I'm not discouraging people. But you are being uh, realistic with yes. uh, the situation on the At ground. hand, yes, yeah. exactly. So whoever uh, is really interested to understand the situation, adhere to your advice and make a decisive choice on what they want yes yeah, because this is why you're providing information like the most important thing is being aware yeah, of giving how the place of, you want yeah, to travel the to of is what to expect yeah. how the place is and yes. um, the rules guiding, guiding this uh, society yes so, so uh, about this job you know we talked about scarcity of jobs it's not as if when you come to Finland you will not find something to eat it doesn't mean that some people are lucky. Yeah. 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 Why some others are not lucky? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, but in general, the job situation in yeah, Finland difficult. is difficult. It's difficult. Yeah, it's difficult right like, now. it's difficult right now. But there are some specific fields. I mentioned it in the video. Yeah. Like when you are in the medical field. Yeah, the health sector. Yes, health sector. Or the provides. Yes. Service and logistics as well. Yeah, yes. but it's not a guarantee. So this is why uh, she has always advised, or even me when people come to me to you know seek some advice, I advise them when you are moving to Finland, come with your rent and your expenses for at least three months, right? Yeah. When you move to Finland today, tomorrow is not guaranteed that you get a job, especially with the current situation. Exactly. So when coming, you should come up, come with it. Uh, at least enough funds to secure yourself and give yourself a peace of mind you understand exactly. because when you are searching for the job to you know start working today tomorrow like you want it so fast it doesn't come so fast you know but when you are relaxed and just taking it um, one step at a time gradually that's when you you might even succeed you know, so it's very advisable to always come with, uh, let me say, enough funds to gather for yourself and your family for at least, at least three months. It's very important so that you will not be in a haste or be in a pressure to get a job to start paying your bills. Finland is very expensive and they don't care how 
how you pay your bills, but there are a lot of bills to be paid. And when it's the due date, you are, you know, you are required or You're expected. expected to pay. <laughs> they don't yes. know how you, how you get the money. Yes. Yeah, so that's one thing. Just prepare yourself. It's just giving you a heads up. Yes, because that's what is obtainable here yeah, in my present. A lot of people complain they can't find jobs. Some others we are lucky. The, the found job. Some others that graduated with a very good um, degree yeah. came to Finland and they couldn't get a job in their field. Yeah. They needed to in fact, uh, I know further their education. I know someone that did some certain courses in engineering. He has been. He graduated last. Um, and he studied in Finland. Yeah, he studied here in yes. Finland. He graduated last. Um, was it in? Uh, uh, last summer in July or August last year he still hasn't secured uh, a certain like a specific job in his field right he's still searching so it's quite difficult and um, even the media jobs people are saying hey, you go to Finland and you start doing cleaning you start doing uh, <laughs> those jobs now are hot cake they are gold <laughs> to like, find them now is you must have to you know, you know that Couple with the government, like they just passed the, the new immigration law. law, citizenship mm. law. In fact, the immigration law will come in three parts. This the first one has just been passed, which is the citizenship. Now you have to be in Finland for eight years before you be qualified to apply for uh, Finnish citizenship. You have to pass the UKI test right now. And also, the second part of it will be the permanent residence. So that one, they will move it from four years to six years. Now we don't need uh, the UKI test for the four years, but when they pass it, you have to need a UKI test and be in Finland for six years. Exactly what I explained to apply in the video. for uh, uh, permanent residence. And within yes. those six years, you must have worked for two years straight. Yes. Without unemployment, like yes. you won't depend on the government or you won't receive any unemployment benefit for two consecutive years. Two years. Yes. <laughs> and also, um, when the next uh, stage of the law is being passed, they are trying to uh, bring this crazy law that when you are on a work permit or your work residence uh, visa, you shouldn't be, like, be without a job. <laughs> Three, three months. months. Yeah. Three months. Once you are of unemployed three for three months, then you are being marked as uh, a danger to the society, and they might cancel your residence permit. They don't want to know if you're receiving unemployment from your unemployment scheme or from Kela. It's not their business. They just want you to be employed within three months of losing your previous job or um, being laid off by your employer. So. All these rules are crazy, but these are the, this is the reality we are facing right now, and they are quite tough. They are quite tough. For me. Very tough. So, yeah. Apart from that, Finland is an amazing place. I in particular like it for its organization. Yes. It's um, um nature and family oriented. Like family -oriented. when it comes to family, yeah, family Finland is beautiful. It's just a calm place to raise your, raise your kids. The only problem that you can say that you have is the, the, the language. Those things I mentioned in the video, it rains everywhere. There's no way, which country doesn't have a problem with uh, job opportunities? Yeah, yes, it's a general problem. It's just that Finland had a lot, in fact, the past one or two years, a lot of people moved to Finland, especially yes. since uh, Canada's changed their rules and you know Canada started all this their strict immigration rules. Mm -hmm. A lot of people that wanted to move to UK and Canada they chose Finland as an option, as a third option. Yes. And this is why you know people are moving here. Mm -hmm. And you know Finland is it's a secured economy. It's not like, like a, very secure, a capitalist yes. economy like the US or even Canada or UK. Mm -hmm. And this is why um, there are a lot, a lot of uh, right now people that are searching for job, but more people and less job opportunities. Yes, yes. Most of the job op opportunities are mostly, you know, majority of them are given by the government.
Yeah. You understand? Private individuals and no employ but on a very limited capacity. Yeah. So the economy is not that big, like maybe even Sweden. Yeah. yeah. Sweden has a, a big Yeah, uh, I even got this comment. Someone was saying Finland and Sweden, which one is better? <laughs> So what do you have to say about that? Well, I think um, each country has its unique advantage yes. and disadvantages. Um, Finland is a very wonderful place. They have a very, um, you know, unique way of accepting immigrants in terms of their immigration laws. Yes. For example, when you come in as a student, you are only to show uh, a total of 6,720 euros as a proof of form. And this has been since 2011. Yes. They haven't changed it, even with their economic situation and all that. It still remains the same. You understand? Yeah. But in Sweden right now, you have to earn a certain amount before you can be able to renew your residence permit based on work. I think mm -hmm. you have to earn about 35, let's say 30 to 35,000 crowns, like 3,000 euros, okay. before you can. Uh, Given the resident permit based on work, but here in Finland, with just a job of a thousand two hundred or a thousand four hundred, you'll be given a residence permit based on work, yes. and you can bring your family with such job or um, such job contract. You can bring in your family, but in Sweden, it's not it's not the same. It's totally different right now. You understand? Yes. But Sweden has a bigger population. Sweden, I think, is over ten million. Yes. They have more developed companies. They have production facilities and all that. So it's a more bigger uh, economy. So there are chances you might get job easily in Sweden mm -hmm. than in Finland. You understand? Mm -hmm. But in terms of um, our studies, Sweden is paying even higher tuition fee than Finland. Right now, at least there are some vocational schools in Finland that give you free education. But in Sweden, I think there are a few, but it's very difficult to obtain such free education. You understand? So, both countries are amazing. They have their unique ways. They have their unique patterns. So, whichever one you, found, you find, you can find yourself to relocate to, it's very good. Yeah. You understand? So, it's just for you to uh, integrate properly when you get there. It's very important. If you're coming to yeah, Finland, you have it in, in your head that I have to learn the Finnish language, yeah. I have to integrate properly into the system, and this way I will benefit and settle down uh, easily and effectively. Same thing with uh, Sweden. So uh, I, I wouldn't say Finland is better than Sweden or Sweden is better than Finland. I, I, I wouldn't. Uh, 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 well, you can have your argument, but for me, I would say both of them have their advantages and disadvantages. Yes. Yeah, so whichever one you find yourself in, just make efficient use of the opportunities available and um, live a happy life. That's the main thing. 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 So my husband joined me today in this video. Like, <laughs> for the first time, <laughs> you did not introduce yourself officially. Well, I am Akunatakasi one. Of food the kingdom. <laughs> um, uh, which is which is hobby. Um, um, which is sadi. See, it's and, nice um, one. Actually, it's been a long time. Of she's been asking me to, you know, come to her channel and say hello to her. He's a shy guy. He's shy. But I'm camera shy. I <laughs> I'm better being behind the camera than in front of the camera. So I. Always try to dodge it. Okay, I will make it up tomorrow and next tomorrow and all that. But anyway, it's uh, interesting to be here, and um, I sincerely appreciate you all for the support and um, kind gesture you've been giving to my lovely wife. I mean, it's not easy, you know, trying to make videos and give vital information. Yeah. Information, sorry, not information. Give information. Why yeah. be? Uh, a mom, a wife, a student, not just an ordinary student, but you were studying in a language that you just learned in, within one year. So it's quite, quite yeah. 
there are a lot of details you have to pay attention to. Yeah, and really I'm giving thing. her a thumbs up. She's doing the job. Thank you. Really, thank really, you, really thank you, thank you. Really, 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 it's not easy. I, I know what I'm saying. So I really thank you all for being very supportive. Thank you, guys. Being nice. I'm always future once in a while, but when I have time from the walk and um, on all of that, if I have some vital information I would like to share with you guys, why not? You can always subscribe to her channel, you know, turn on, turn on the bell notification to you know be informed when she posts a video <laughs> and it's all about information like um, yeah. there are upcoming applications yeah. applications for vocational schools for universities of applied sciences as well yeah. as universities there are certain scholarships you can also get so tune into her channel she will be doing her best to always share this information and uh, help people who she can to relocate to Finland. Yeah. For me, I will always say Finland is a great place. No matter the new, whatever, whatever, it's still a place it's that will advise nice uh, a family friend or anyone to move to. Yeah. yeah. But just know that you have to start all over. You should be willing to start all, all over in terms of learning language, yeah. trying to go into a new career, but you like job field and all yes. that. Yeah. Um, apart from it's that, worth it. yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it. Worth it's worth it. it. Yeah, it's worth it. So, yeah. So thank you, everyone. I really appreciate. Thank you. Thank yeah. You so much. We are still on our way to the oldest city yeah. in Finland. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> I haven't been there anywhere before, but... <laughs> None of us have been there. We've just heard about it. Yeah, from our friends. Uh, and from school. From online. Mm -hmm. But we are going there now. And we are going with you. <laughs> you can see the empty land. This is grasses. Grains. 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 Yeah. And mostly grains. are going to be having a part two of this video where i show you how we entered the older city in finland and our activities there guys so thanks for watching bye make sure to subscribe make sure to like if you have any question you can always drop it in the comments thanks for watching